so this is also a 10 mark uh, sum okay this is an exercise uh, 8.6 right and this is the first sum in that so okay what do they say radium sorry the print is not very clear here so let me read it out radium is disappearing at a rate proportional to the amount present so if A is going to be the amount of radium present the rate at which you know uh, the radium is disintegrating is always going to be proportional to the amount that is present right so I can say the rate at which the amount is changing is going to be proportional to the amount A which is present given at any time T right so once we have an equation like this you know from exercise 8.34 uh, we proceed like this right we can say dA by dt is equal to k into a where I am removing the proportionality sign by putting an equal to and k is the constant so let me do some rough work here so if dA by dt is equal to k into a so I am going to bring all the a's to one side and take the dt to the other side so it is k dt right now you integrate on both sides you get log a is equal to kt plus log c so you get log a minus log c is equal to kt so log a minus log c can be written as log of a by c is equal to kt right and therefore if I want to remove the log I'm going to write it as e power log a by c is equal to e power kt therefore it becomes e power log a by c can be written as a by c is equal to kt or a is equal to c e power kt so if you're familiar with this step you can proceed this is only for people who are seeing this for the first time but if you know to solve this already you can proceed right so this implies a is equal to c e power kt so there is no need for you to do this uh, work here if you already know how a is, is equal to c e power kt is derived you can straight away proceed with that okay now let's get get back to the main sum a is equal to c e power kt is the uh, base formula with which we are going to proceed with the sum they say that 5% of the original amount disappeared in 50 years and they are asking us to find how much will remain at the end of 100 years and they are asking us to take a naught as the initial amount so at time t is equal to 0 they are asking us to take a as a naught okay a naught is the initial amount so they are telling that the amount of radium present is a naught so let us substitute these two in this equation we get a zero is equal to c e power k into zero which is zero and e power zero is one so you get a is naught is equal to c right so now if you substitute this in this equation you will because you know the value of c now you know that a is equal to a0 into e power kt now this is my equation with which I am going to proceed now with the rest of the sum right now what are they saying At, they are saying that 5% of the original amount disappears in 50 years right so when time is equal to 50 that is after 50 years the amount of radium present is equal to only 95% of the original amount right 95% can be written as 0 0.95 into a naught why I am saying only 95% of the original amount that is because they said 5% has disappeared so what remains is only 95% of the original amount after 50 years right 0 0.95 into a naught can be written as is equal to but you know that a is equal to a0 e power kt right so 
ई पार के टी ओके वेर टी इज नथिंग बट फिफ्टी सो इन प्लेस ऑफ टी यू सब्सिट्यूट फिफ्टी के इन टू फिफ्टी और फिफ्टी के सो यू कैन कैंसिल ए जीरो ऑन बोथ साइड सो ई पार फिफ्टी के इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट नाइन फाइव राइट नो आई हैव टू फाइंड आउट वॉट वुड बी द अमाउंट ऑफ रेडियम विच इज प्रेजेंट एट द एंड ऑफ हंड्रेड ईयर्स टाइम टी इक्वल टू हंड्रेड इफ आई सब्सिट्यूट दिस इन दिस इक्वेशन इट बी ए इज इक्वल टू ए नॉट ई पावर इन प्लेस ऑफ टी एम गोड पुट हंड्रेड सो इट बिकम्स हंड्रेड के राइट सो दिस इज इक्वेशन वी हैव आफ्टर हंड्रेड ईयर्स एट टाइम टी इक्वल टू हंड्रेड द अमाउंट ऑफ रेडियम प्रेजेंट इज गोड बी दी इनिशियल अमाउंट इन टू ई पार हंड्रेड के बट कैन आई ऑल्सो राइट ई पार हंड्रेड के एस ई पार फिफ्टी के स्क्वायर्ड राइट इट बिकम्स ई पार बेसिकली इट इज ई पार ओके लेट मी राइट इट अगेन इट्स ई पावर फिफ्टी के द होल स्क्वायर्ड राइट सो इट इज ए जीरो इन टू ई पार फिफ्टी के स्क्वायर राइट सो वेन एवर यू हैव लाइक दिस यू विल मल्टीप्लाई दी स्क्वायर राइट so i just uh, wrote it uh, better here so it becomes a not into e power 50k the whole squared so whenever you have uh, any uh, you know that right this is a basic rule right if you have any x some value right e power 2x the whole squared it is nothing but you multiply this right it becomes e power 4x basically so that is exactly what we are doing here so this is nothing but a not into you know that e power 50k is 0.95 so it is 0.95 the whole square 0.95 the whole square is nothing but 0.9025 into a not therefore the amount of radium that is going to be present after 100 years is equal to 0.9025 times the initial amount okay so let's have a quick recap of this sum so they say radium is disappearing at the rate which is proportional to the uh, you know the amount of radium that is present so with that as equation we proceeded with this a is equal to c e par kt and they have also asked us to assume that a not is the initial amount right therefore at time equal to 0 that is initially a is equal to a not so by substituting this in this equation here we get A C is equal to A not. Now substituting back into this equation, we get A not A is equal to A not E par K T. So that is going to be our base equation. So at time t equal to fifty, that is after five fifty years, five percent of the radium disappears. So the amount that is present will be only ninety five percent of my original amount. So ninety five percent can be written as point nine five. So point nine five into a zero. So point nine five a zero can be written as you substitute in this equation. You know that a is equal to a not into e par k t, right? So you, therefore you write point nine five a zero is equal to a zero into e par k into fifty, which is e par fifty k. So you get the value of e par fifty k. Don't go into solve what k is because At time t equal to hundred, a is equal to a zero into e power hundred k, and hundred k can be written as e power fifty k the whole squared. So we'll just use this value that we got here in this equation, multiply it, and then you get the answer that the amount of radium present is point nine zero two five times the initial amount.